it's Alan, and I'm here today in Gainesville, Florida with Carrie Bagnall, the founder and director of Jungle Friends Primate Sanctuary. This sanctuary that houses monkeys for many different precarious situations. But today, Carrie, I'd like to focus on the research monkeys. Okay. Uh, I believe behind us we have monkeys that came from what kind of what yes. kind of research was conducted on them? Actually, PC and Angel were in um, iron overload studies, along with nine monkeys actually came out of this laboratory that were in iron overload studies and they came to Jungle Friends in 2004. They're still doing the studies and we're hoping to get the rest of the monkeys. They were in the study for almost 20 years. They were first captured in the wild and stolen from their jungle homes, from their families, and sold into research for this study. Oh, and can you imagine you're living in a jungle and then one day and the next day you find yourself in a small cage with human beings coming at you, committing un unthinkable atrocities. Right. Well, and here's the good thing about that. This uh, laboratory never released any monkeys ever in the history of their of the research they did. They always killed them. And this was the first time that they released monkeys and set a precedent. So, And they have been releasing more and more to us. Since so you'll that, meet some more that that's they've fabulous. also released to us after they've um, Oh, what a wonderful so. ending for monkeys that are uh, un just, it's unthinkable what's happened to them. And how do they acclimate once they get here? These particular monkeys, some acclimate better than others. Uh, PC and Angel are real good, but there are some that we try to stay away from because they really have no use for humans. They've had so much done to them by humans that they really, to give them their food and we leave and try to, you know, have this the least amount of well, I can imagine after 20 years of humans coming over to them and every time they come over to them it's never with an act of kindness how they would feel you know when right. they're finally released even if it is into a positive much more positive situation these are cut and top cameras and they were in behavioral research and cognitive research there were 70 of them and then the funding agency who was funding the research told the researchers that they were going to cut all funding unless they did invasive research. Oh my gosh, well we know what that means. That's Brain your, mapping is what they want. Where you're to cutting off like basically the top of their heads and um, but applying some kind of apparatus. I've seen those photos. It's horrendous. Uh, so they and the researchers said no. We aren't going to do that. I will find homes for all 70. So they called me and asked me if I could take all 70 monkeys. And of course, we couldn't do that. But we took the 10 special needs monkeys. That's the problem with a lot of the research monkeys. It doesn't come one or two at a time. There are 70 They're or They're releasing 30. the entire study of monkeys. Right. And well, then obviously you need more property. Absolutely. <laughs> We're desperately needing to expand because we do have, I get calls from laboratories all the time wanting their monkeys to come here. And There's more and more, from what I was hearing, Hearing before more and more researchers are refusing yeah. to do this invasive research. They Absolutely. feel it's cruel and not really medically necessary. There are a lot of researchers that feel exactly that way. Unfortunately, there aren't more that feel that we way. Need they, they, need, they need their jobs, right? So they're trying to maintain their jobs and continuing to um, do this research, you know, even though there aren't necessarily proven outcomes. So, Carrie, these these squirrel monkeys, I think you were telling me, uh, they had research done on them where they were addicted to cocaine, continually addicted to cocaine and having to go through withdrawal over and over again over the course of many years. Carrie, I think that's so fabulous that you're able to finally give these monkeys, you know, some sort of a life mm -hmm. after what they've been through. But what really bothers me, or what I and what I find troubling, is what you were telling me yesterday that you've had to turn down laboratories because you just don't have enough space. Right. And um, there's land. What you were saying something about the land next door. Right. Well, there are 20 acres for sale that we are really trying to get with our expansion project because I was just recently called by uh, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine who have, along with them and PETA and myself and a lot of different agencies, stopped the NASA research. All the NASA research it was where, on squirrel yeah, monkeys. Yeah, where they were going to radiate uh, right. like something like a large amount of uh, squirrel. 30 squirrel monkeys. That project was stopped, thank God, However, they already purchased 10 squirrel monkeys. So they called to ask if I could take them, if they could get them freed. Now and that the research wasn't being done. If yeah. I could take them here, and I had to say no. 
oh. because we are at capacity and we need to get some more property and I want to say yes. Of course you do. You know, when None of us want to see um, monkeys sitting in laboratories when they can be exactly. released to, to a habitat such as this. Right. right. So is there something that the viewers out there could do? Is uh, there anything Send that lots would... of money. <laughs> <laughs> money would help. We need money, you need to... time, you know, supplies. But our, go to our website, which is junglefriends.org. Oh, junglefriends.org. Junglefriends and it's, a, it's called our expansion project. It says take action for expansion and we do have the property selected and it's connected to jungle friends it also connects up to our sister sanctuary so we would have about 40 acres total wow so you could and you envision you could take how many more monkeys hundreds in? hundreds literally of monkeys. hundreds of monkeys so you're saying that if you were able to obtain this property then you could build habitats and we could get hundreds of monkeys uh, liberated basically out of these uh, exactly. research facilities. And we're going to get the property. I, I, I already feel us being there. I see us there. I see habitats being built there. I see monkeys there. I get so many calls. Ellen, I get calls every week monkeys needing homes. We have a waiting list of monkeys that need homes right now. Well, we don't, well, none of the viewers out there want to see monkeys turned away. Of course not. So, what were we saying earlier this morning? If, if you, you say, say yes, we, we can, can say, say yes. yes. <laughs> and what do we say to people if they're looking for a companion animal? Adopt, Adopt don't, don't shop. shop.